I'm going to show that creating vision through selected mutations and hundreds of thousands of generations is simply not possible, and my weapon will be common sense, nothing else. Eyes had to form some other way. First, let's describe the simplest visual system we can for ease of discussion. The minimal visual system needs four items to function, a retina or eyeball, an optic nerve, visual cortex, and an incredibly complex code that is formed by the retina and transmitted to the visual cortex where it is decoded and a visual image is manufactured. If one or more of these items is missing, the species will see as well as a boulder. What I am describing requires only common sense to understand, and those of you who disagree with my premise can label it irreducible complexity or anything else if you wish. Labels are meaningless here. Common sense trumps any labels. All of the videos that I have seen on eye evolution have described how eyeballs evolved and completely ignore the optic nerve, visual cortex, and code. The nerve is in the drawings, usually, but not mentioned. Astounding, since the nerve, cortex, and code are just as important as the eye in forming vision. So my first question for evolution is, which evolved first? The retina, the optic nerve, the visual cortex, or the incredibly complex code? In this clip, Richard Dawkins fools a group of school kids by showing them how eyes evolved like a slide projector, again ignoring the fact that an optic nerve, visual cortex, and code are required. Let's see how many generations and mutations it would take to construct an eye. Nielsen found that the evolution of the eye we've just seen would take a surprisingly short time. It would take about 250,000 generations. The eye has about 15 major parts. How did the 250,000 generations and associated mutations divvy up among the 15 parts? Obviously, each part had to have an immense number of mutations assigned to it. Did an earlier group work on the retina, then a later one on the lens? How was all of this organized? How did mutations keep track of what was already evolved? If there were already 3 million retinal cells, did a future mutation know that 3 million more were needed? Or did it start working on a visual cortex, kind of thinking in advance? How was this incredible accounting job accomplished? How did evolution know that two eyes are necessary for depth perception? We have one nose and one mouth. Why aren't there a plethora of one-eyed species who then gave way to two-eyed versions? If you answer that animals needed a second eye so they could see right to left for protection and hunting, why wasn't an eye or two evolved on the back of the head where species are most vulnerable? Did one species evolve eyes or did it happen in a narrow time frame about 500 million years ago in thousands or millions of species? If only one species evolved a visual system, vision could not have been spread to the 99% of multicellular animal species that have eyes today, because they could only mate with their own kind. If only one species evolved vision, few animal species today would have eyes, which leads to the next problem. If the odds of a species evolving binocular vision in a million year period were generously given at 1 in 10, then the odds of a second species evolving a nearly identical visual system would be 1 in 100. If we carried this thinking out to 12 species, the odds against would be 1 in a trillion. In other words, zero. If the 1 in a trillion scenario did occur, 12 species would not be enough to spread eyes to 99% of the 20 million animal species that have vision today anyway. Species can only reproduce with their own kind, so spreading eyes would be a near impossible task. Single species populations can evolve in whole, but they will not produce new species unless they are geographically separated by mountains or water, like Darwin's finches. So how did the few species that evolved eyes, or could have evolved eyes, spread them to the 99% that have eyes today? Insects first appear suddenly in the fossil record at the very beginning of the late Carboniferous period, about 350 million years ago. Insect species were already diverse and highly specialized by this time with fossil evidence reflecting the presence of more than a half a dozen different orders. Since eyes evolved in vertebrates around 500 million years ago, which species procreated with insects to give them eyes? How did mutations know to go to the same place on the front of the face to place their handiwork? Couldn't they have placed an iris on the neck or even the knee? The early Earth did not look like this at all. Before there were visually equipped observers, the early Earth was dark, pitch dark. 
Unfortunately for evolutionists, the sun does not give off light at all. The sun produces electromagnetic waves of certain specific wavelengths in the form of photons. As I discussed, these waves hit the retina, which creates an incredibly complex signal. That signal is sent to the visual cortex through the optic nerve. Light, color, and visual images do not exist at all outside of a receptive brain. The brain manufactures the light that we see. How would evolution know that if it evolved this incredibly complex vision system, light, color, and incredible images would be at the finish line? This last challenge is the toughest one for evolutionists to understand because it really kills the idea of eyes evolving. Evolutionists think there's light all over outside of our bodies and that little pinhole cameras evolved and let the light in, but that's not the way it works. One more time, here's how evolution makes eyes. First you get a light sensitive row of cells and that has an advantage because that at least lets you tell light from dark and that's important for some biochemical process. Next you have another mollusk that has basically a cupped structure where the cells are inside of a basin and that allows you to tell which direction the light is coming from. That's an advantage over just being able to tell light from dark so that could be selected for. Next along the...